It's me again. again. How's it going? Good, thank you. So well, last time I was here, Miriam, we did a couple of things, right? We did supercharger service, we did smaller pulley and AirTech top mount intercooler. Yeah. We're back for more. I can't get away. You know, you know what it's like. Once you start with modifications, it becomes this ultimate money pit, doesn't it? I mean, you know, based on I your mean, car. I mean, I definitely know that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> so, Miriam, what are we doing today to my car? Okay, so today we are going to be fitting the coilover kit that you've bought. Yep. Am I allowed to say what it is? Yes, you are. Let's show them. Let's show them. <laughs> okay, so uh, here is where I can no longer talk because I'm so. <laughs> we won't have to hold it for too long. We'll, we'll cut to the B-roll in a minute, but here it is. Um, so we've got the HSD Dual Tech kit to fit today. Uh, this kit, I personally really actually love um, because it does include kind of everything that you need to go ahead. So you've yeah. obviously got the, the kit itself. Yeah. It comes with the adjustable top mounts, yeah. which is excellent really. Yeah. And also the drop links too. Yeah, which is a good thing. I mean, so, so I wanted something that wasn't really gonna break the bank. So I thought that this would be a, a good all round option, yeah, right? Definitely. Yeah. If I was to go back in time, I would be fitting these to my own car. And are they a popular choice, these ones? Really popular. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our supplier does uh, actually warn us when we're going low because we do tend to sell out of these quite quickly. Nice. So what I'll do as well, guys, I will leave a link in the description below to the link to these coilovers on the Modern Mini website. So if you want them, just click on the link. It will take you straight there. So coilers aren't the only thing we're doing today, right? We're doing something extra as well. We do. We have some very shiny spaces for you. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'm a sucker for spaces. I love a space. So. I think these kits look really smart as well. And the kit, when you buy them, does also come with the length and bolts as well. Yes, good. Again, not all kits do that. Yeah, so that's a real plus as well. And again, these will be linked in the description below. So I think we should, well, the car's already on the ramp. We've kind of got ahead of the game. But I say we start pulling bits apart. We start putting the coilovers on and I'll show you what the process is. And then we'll take for a drive and uh, see how low it is. Hopefully I won't lose the front bumper. We're not gonna go too low. We just wanna kind of sort the arch gap a bit. I think that's the kind of the happy medium, right? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Right, so the car is down and this is the first time I'm actually seeing it lowered. And I must say, it looks, it looks bang on. The best thing about this is, is Tim has done this in one hit. So normally with coilovers, you end up sitting there looking around. Do you need to raise it, lower it? Is the right height right? But it's literally spot on. And one of the things I was worried about is, first of all, it's going to be too low. It looks pretty low, but the best thing about it is the rear arch gap completely gone. And with the spacers, bear in mind, these are 11 mil spacers either side. It looks flipping aggressive. Yeah. Mate, this looks good. <laughs> that has made such a massive difference. I can't believe how much difference it looks because obviously from this angle, you're seeing it low and it will settle a little bit more, won't it? Yeah, a little bit more. About five not, mil. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. a great deal. Not, not too much. But the stance though, Miriam, like the, the, the spaces make a massive difference as well, don't they? Yeah, it, it re it genuinely, it looks really, really good. The difference it's made is massive. I know, I know. I'm genuinely so pleased. And also, um, if you guys remember from the last video, I did touch on the fact that I was coming back here because not only was I fitting the coilovers and the spaces, but also there was a slight niggle with, it was like a hesitation issue, wasn't yeah, it? We yeah. found the root cause, haven't we? We have, it was a spark plug. It was a spark plug. Yeah. <laughs> so that's good. So there was a little crack on the spark yeah. plug, which for whatever reason was kind of creating that hesitation. But we changed the spark plugs. All is good. We can now enjoy full power from the 17% reduced pulley. Miriam, first of all, thank you guys so much. I know you guys always look after me here, but is there anything that you want to plug? Anything that, all the stuff from my car? Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, well, to be fair, everything that we fitted to your car, yeah. genuinely, we really love as well. So. Yeah, we would love everybody else who's interested to check out the website. 
um, and obviously all our social medias. Yeah, absolutely. And they'll all be linked as well. If they want to get it fitted, they can go on talkmonkey.com exactly. as well and they yep. can come and book in for fitting as well, just like I did. But anyway, right, I think I'm going to go take this for a drive. I'm going to love and leave you guys. I'm going to enjoy a lowered car with spaces with no hesitation issues. Excellent. <laughs> right, let's get in the car and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Miriam, thank you so much. No problem. Okay, so first impressions with the HSD coilovers. Now, I'm on a very British B road, back road, B road. That even makes sense. I'm on a back road just off of a B road, which is probably the worst kind of surfaces that I would drive this car on. And I can say out the box, it is much stiffer, much stiffer. But I'd expect that, you know. We do have a, uh, adjustable dampening as well. I think that at the moment this is set to kind of halfway house in the middle, which is the best of both worlds. We don't want it too soft, otherwise I'm gonna be rubbing up on the arches and I don't want it too hard because, well, we're in the UK. But first things first, acceleration. Let's turn the traction off. Let's go. Yes! Oh my God, it's amazing what one spark plug can do to the overall performance of the car. Now, that is awesome. I'm glad that the car is fixed and I can get the most out of this with the 17% pulley now. The guys at Modern Mini, massive thank you. As always, great service. But, coilovers. Now, it's very difficult to review a set of coilovers with, well, I've basically driven from Modern Mini to close to home. And one of the kind of key things that I noticed straight away is actually, yes, they're a little bit stiffer, but actually there is still some travel, which is good. They're not back-breakingly stiff. The thing that really like wows me is the way this car looks now. The start with the spacers is, it looks so good. Honestly, it's transformed the look of this car. It's amazing such a simple modification, spacers and coilovers. Well, coilovers aren't necessarily a simple mod but they have transformed the look of this car. And it just sounds great as well. Super chuffed right now with this Mini R53 Cooper S. <laughs> now, of course, with coilovers, they will settle a little bit over the next couple of days and then I guess the next week, realistically. And I guess that's the point then when I will be taking the car in for four wheel alignment because what I have noticed when I was driving on the motorway around about 70 miles per hour, there is a little bit of steering vibration, which again isn't the end of the world in the immediate short term, we will get that fixed and that's down to having a new coilover set up. <laughs> so this car now, 17% pulley, AirTech top mount intercooler, it's got the coilovers, it's got the start, it looks great. What it desperately needs is a clean, and I'm gonna do that in a moment after I finish this video with you guys. What about the handling? You know, how does it feel when you fling it around a corner? Well, because the coilovers naturally are much stiffer, the handling itself feels much more glued. It feels much more like a go-kart. And the original OEM shocks and suspension did a good job, but this is just, it's just that little bit more. And it just gives you that little bit more fun factor. Oh, and it's also nice to see that top mount noise disappear because they were knocking on the original ones. Of course, with these coilovers, we get adjustable top mounts, as Miriam said early on in the video. It does feel nice and planted around here. I can throw it around, minimal roll, and yet it's just a nice set of coilovers, and for the price, I think they're decent. I will do a further, uh, longer-term review once I've driven more than just two hours in this car, because I don't think you can get the best out of it just by doing that, but I will provide an update later on. But for now, I'm extremely happy with this car. I'm extremely happy with the coilovers and the setup. It looks so good. And if you did enjoy this video, please smash a like. Make sure to check out the guys at Modern Mini. All the stuff that I've had done to the car is linked below. And I will see you all very soon on the next video. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye.